The development and introduction of specially designed optical devices has literally changed the way that we see the battlefield. I got the guy in black moving on the right side of it right now. This is five things you don't know about optics. Uh, we got no more movement over there, sir. Although the development of night observation devices began in the 1930s, it wasn't until World War II that the United States introduced its first practical system, known as the M2 Sniper Scope. Designed for use on a specially modified M2 carbine, this system consisted of a large infrared emitter lens mounted above the M2 detector scope, which was in turn mounted on the receiver of the carbine. Cables connected the emitter and the detector to a triggering unit attached to the forward end of the carbine stock, and then the system's power source, a heavy lead-acid wet cell battery, was carried in a canvas backpack. The M2 sniper scope was capable of illuminating a target up to 400 feet away and proved extremely effective in combat. When it was fielded during the Okinawa campaign in 1945, it was very successful at halting nighttime infiltration attacks, something the Japanese were infamous for. The era of technological innovation that was created by the Cold War ultimately led to the development of the first passive night vision devices. This ANPVS-2 Starlight Scope was the most common model used by the U.S. military during the late 1960s. By amplifying minute amounts of ambient light, like the light from the stars and the moon, passive night vision scopes like this were smaller and lighter, and yet they produced results comparable to the old infrared systems. During the war in Vietnam, the Starlight Scope was an invaluable piece of field gear that gave U.S. troops a distinct advantage during nighttime operations. The M68 Close Combat Optic is a red dot reflex sight designed for use on the M16, M4 family of firearms. Prior to the introduction of the M68, all U.S. troops trained and qualified using iron sights. The M68's intuitive design makes it far easier for a shooter to acquire a target, and therefore, it's well suited for modern combat environments. Because of this, in the year 2000, the M68 was adopted as the Army's first standard issue, non-magnifying optical gun sight. The Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight is a telescopic magnifying gun sight designed for the M16 M4 family. It incorporates a chevron-shaped illuminated ranging reticle with a bullet drop compensator that makes it possible to engage targets at ranges of up to 600 meters. Manufactured by Trigicon, the ACOG became somewhat infamous after it was discovered the company was printing references to Bible verses on the side of the scope. After news of what Trigicon was doing broke, the company stopped including the Bible verses and then began removing them from all ACOGs that had already been manufactured. On the one that I'm holding here, the Bible verse has been permanently defaced. During the Second World War, Fighter aircraft like the F-4F Wildcat were equipped with early holographic gun sights that projected an illuminated reticle onto a pane of glass. During the Vietnam War, more sophisticated holographic gun sights were used on aircraft like the F-4 and the F-100. Today, technological advances in optics have made it possible to produce holographic sights like the EOTech 553, which is small and sturdy enough for use on infantry weapons. Over the past several decades, optical devices have gone from being highly specialized pieces of gear only available to a select few to 
standard issue items that are now being used by almost everyone. What do you think has been the most significant optical development in recent history? Post your comments below or reach out to us through Twitter using hashtag 5ThingsYouDon'tKnow.